Next up, Carolina Panthers. Tough loss, tough loss to the Raiders. I bet this one and took an L. Teddy, you know what, let's get into it. Welcome to the Source. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Uh, like I said, Panthers, tough loss to the Raiders. I bet this one. I had Carolina plus three. I was very confident about it. Took an L. The line opened up at Carolina minus one uh, at the beginning of the week. Come kickoff, the line had moved all the way to Carolina plus three. That's four points. I love free points, man. That's The experts are picking. Carolina's a one-point favorite, and then you're giving me three points? In my mind, that's four free points. I always take free points. More often than not, that's how you win, is you gobble up those free points. Didn't happen here. Uh, Raiders offense kind of had their way on Carolina. Josh Jacobs, great running back. We all know he would have another good season. Found the end zone. 34 points to the Raiders offense. He can't be doing that. The Raiders offense was horrible at the end of last year. I think in the last four games, they didn't even hit 16 points or something. I, I, I'm not looking it up. I just remember hearing something on a podcast about the Raiders offense in the last four games of last year was awful. And here they are lighting up the Panthers for 34. That's unacceptable. All that being said, I still like the Panthers as my sleeper team this year. I still like them to win seven or eight games. I still like that over on five and a half wins. Teddy Bridgewater looked okay. Just how I said he was gonna look. Just how all of you should have thought he was gonna look. He looked okay. That's what Teddy Bridgewater is. He's an okay quarterback. Did you guys watch the Chargers game? Did you guys watch Tyrod Taylor? That's a bad starting quarterback. That's not what Teddy Bridgewater looks like. Did Teddy Bridgewater miss some throws? Yeah. I almost rifled my phone through the TV at a couple of them. But did you watch Tyrod Taylor? Oh man, why is this man starting in the league? Anyway, this is not a Tyrod Taylor video, this is a Panthers video. Teddy Bridgewater is a good quarterback, an upgrade from last year. Panthers are a better team this year than they were last year. That's a fact, with a better quarterback. That's a fact. And I like Matt Rule. Okay, so. I wanted to see a nice play or two out of Derrick Brown. First round pick out of Auburn, I really wanted to see him make some noise in some way. He batted down a pass, I want to say in the second or third quarter. Did make himself known. I expect to see an increase in production from him. I'm telling you, I watched a lot of SEC football this year and this dude is different. This dude has an Aaron Donald type effect on a game. And I'm not gonna sit here and compare him to Aaron Donald because I don't think Aaron Donald's a human, but Derek Brown has that same sort of impact where he could cover, he'll line up in the three, he'll line up on the outside, he'll line up on the nose tackle. You put him anywhere, he can rush on the edge, he could do everything on that interior defensive line, everything at an elite level. And I'm telling you Panthers fans, be excited about Derek Brown. He, I bet you he gets 99 overall in Madden within four years. I bet you. Moving forward, Panthers fans, stay with me. Stay positive. You're winning seven games this year. Trust me on this. You're going to win seven. I still think eight. The second half of the season is going to be a lot more lucrative for you than the first half. Trust me on this. This team's going nothing but up. Don't lose faith.